Hi guys, this is a video on Windows software. This time I'm talking about Windows Media Player. Now you notice that I've got Windows Media Player 10 loaded up at the moment. Uh, basically there's two reasons why I'm using Windows Media Player 10. One is the um, visualizations that you get with it. You can see there's loads um, with Windows Media Player 10. I've got Windows Media Player 11 in a virtual machine on Vista here and you'll notice that they've kind of skimped you a bit on on the um, visualization part of it and also another reason that I'm using it is because I had Windows Media Player 10, um, 11 on here I think and I went to view something like a something that's embedded in a web page like a news thing with a video on it and it said install missing plugins so I clicked install plugins and it said install Windows Media Player 11 and it said manual install so I uh, seem to have a problem trying to view videos so I've kept with Windows Media Player 10 at the moment and I was just having a look on the internet for a few skins for it and I came across some really really cool ones so I thought I'd share them with you um, some of them are quite old and people will say yeah I've seen these before but um, I thought I'd share them to you anyway and also people will say uh, we all use a Media Player 10 and as these skins are rolled it's only going to work with 10 well I've already tried them and um, they all work on 11 in Vista and XP so um, let's get started uh, you'll notice that most of these are branded um, so they'll say something like Alienware or Kenwood or uh, T3 or whichever Terminator 3 um, but they're cool all the same so uh, they're all from skinsfactory.com so you can download it from their website um, I had trouble downloading Invader because the link was broken so I um, managed to find a rapid share link to download that from so um, it's all good so I'll set this on here to show you them working on here as well and We'll start with Alienware Darkstar, and you'll see it's got a cool animation here. If we just play a song quickly, and looks fairly cool. Um, so that is Alienware Darkstar. Just quickly show you it on Vista. Vista. I'm not sure if there's sound with this because uh, there's no sound coming out of the bottom. So either way, you can still get it working. So Batman begins. Song. So that is that one. Uh, I'm not sure how I'll switch to full on this one, so um, do the same with this. So, yeah, you can see it's the same. So, um, Invader I'll leave to last because that's my favourite one. So, um, Kenwood, uh, this is like a uh, car stereo. You can see, can I? And uh, change the visualizations, I suppose, as well. Uh, return to full mode. And again, we'll show you it working on here. Switch to full mode. Uh, can I think you can also get this to show a special graphic thing if you keep pressing that or something. I'm not sure. There's a button somewhere I know of that you press it and it will change the uh, visualization thing on here to this car one, I think. Uh, another one is NVIDIA. Which I thought was pretty cool. Again, we'll play a song. So that's fairly cool. Uh, not sure if I've installed it on this actually, so I apologise if I haven't. I know I have. Good. So again, it does exactly the same thing. I think these are just um, animations. They're not anything like special um, that's been done to Media Player to allow it to do this. They're just loads of frames that they've put together. And so yeah, that's the video. Uh, Rave MP I thought was pretty cool, it just looks like a little MP3 player because that's what the Rave MP is but when you play it you can change the colour of it to which one you want which I thought was pretty cool, I like the look of it so um, Rave MP, show you on this one works as well and then change the colour with that button there and uh, T3 I thought was quite futuristic Then um, I'll drag this up here a second. Okay, this is got. So, 
I'll show you that on here if we've got it. Yes, we do. It's the same sort of thing. And we'll go back to full mode again. And TDK Digital Master. This TDK is going to do cameras and uh, discs and things like that. CDs, so sort of like a CD thing. So. I won't keep playing the same thing. Um, so again, switch to full mode, TDK. And um, World of Warcraft players, if you still play World of Warcraft, there's one for you. This is games for Windows. And then just play it, and it shows it here in a little World of Warcraft thing. And Again, I'll show it on Media Player 11. So all of these work with me Windows Media Player 11. Well, this is what I've tested it in a virtual machine for Vista, so um, it should work. There's no reason why it shouldn't. And my favourite is the Invader one. Now, you may have seen this before, but I just think it's so cool. It's uh, for Alienware PCs, but this is how it goes. So obviously these aren't extremely practical if you want to play a quick song, but either way, they're pretty cool all the same. So again, showing it on Vista. So it just runs exactly the same as on XP, um, regardless of um, operating system and uh, media player version. So I'm not sure, again, if you get, oh, my sound's muted, that's why. Oh, it says no audio devices installed. So yeah, I assume you will get sound on it, so that's fairly cool. So these are some skins that you can get for Windows Media Player. I know you can get skins for Winamp and they probably look better and things like that. But this is just for Windows Media Player users. If you use Windows Media Player to play your music, you can get several cool little skins to show off to people. Um, so that's about it really. So if you find any cool skins, then please write them in the, um, in the comments. And please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching my video.